At Demodibo Keita International Airport in Bamako, Malian authorities received a new delivery of several warplanes and helicopters from Russia, its new major military and political ally. Ten aircraft were counted on ground and in the air, eight planes and two helicopters during the ceremony. The desire to modernize and equip our army is not only linked to a security crisis. Of course, this crisis has shown the urgency of it. But above all, it responds to a fundamental need. Ensuring the security of its population is not a luxury, but a necessity. Malian officials did not give a detailed breakdown of how many of each aircraft have been delivered and why they say they purchased the weapons. They have released no details of the transactions. This is the latest series of similar Russian deliveries of military equipment following others in March and August 2022. Mali's defense and security forces once again on their feet and autonomous now inspire respect and present a positive image of Mali to all partners. So long for those nostalgic for a bygone era who wanted this army to remain confined to a rule of eternal assisted. The West African nation has been fighting jihadist insurgency since 2012. Multiple sources say Malian authorities started bringing in paramilitaries from Russian group Wenger since late 2022. Mali has denied the allegations, saying it has simply revived long-standing links with Russia and its army.